Hi everyone. Right, um, for the past few days I have been quite busy uh, experimenting a lot. I'm trying to find a way to produce an effect that looks like nor the Northern Lights. Um, these have resulted in a lot of <laughs> uh, old canvases that I've, I'm literally just throwing away. Uh, the amount of failures has been quite phenomenal. But there's just this one particular painting that turned out so lovely that I thought I'd uh, share it with you. So, yeah, let's go and have a look at what happened there. Let's look at the, uh, the colours I'll be using and the canvas just quickly. So I have uh, the pearl colours here. I have uh, pearl white, a pearl, pearl blue, and then I have a blue and a red mixed together um, about one-to-one -one consistency, which gives me, I think, a better um, uh, sort of violet shade for going for a northern light type of effect rather than the violet on its own. This is a little bit too too intense in my opinion. And then there's um, a blue and green mixed up, which gives a real nice shade as well. And then I've drawn myself a little little plan there, what to, um, what to go for. Uh, for my base, I have two different uh, uh, paints greys. One is a little bit darker than the other one. And then for the tree swipe, I have the brown that I've mixed with uh, Amsterdam Carmine and uh, Oxide Black. This is uh, almost used up, which is just as well because I need to uh, mix up some more. Okay, so let's put my... Uh, color test away. This is uh, a 40 by 40 centimeter or about 16 inch square uh, gallery wrapped canvas that I'm using today. So I am going to get to uh, working on this. I'll pop some music on for you and just let you enjoy watching.
am going to stop there before I go and overwork this. Um, <laughs> this is kind of nerve-wracking because you've got no way of knowing exactly what's going to uh, be revealed there. Um, oh, I know I said I, I just said I'm going to stop, but I will do one or two more things as soon as I can find my skewer. Okay, can't find my skewer, but this will do a uh, sort of a knitting needle thingy. Just to break up this um, brown down at the bottom a little bit more. But yeah, uh, I'm going to stop with the branches because I know I am way too prone to uh, overworking, overworking these things. So yeah, time to stop. But yeah, like I was saying, uh, it's kind of nerve-wracking because you just have no way of, way of knowing exactly how the pearl colours are gonna look when they when they dry you have an idea of course but yeah we'll just have to wait but either way I will bring you in for a quick close-up of the wet results in a okay the wet results um, I'm not going to bother with the flash this time I am just going to let this develop i know there will be some of the uh, uh mixed up uh violet that i mixed up coming through there and again i love the way that tree looks so i'm just gonna have to be patient now and wait for this to dry i'll see you then here is the dried result i did not get the uh effect i was aiming for here but I love it. <laughs> I love what the uh, pearl white did with the um, slightly lighter sort of paints gray that I had mixed. I think those hues are just so beautiful. That sort of bluey green is just magical. And I love the way that tree turned out. It just has that, you know, real magical feel to it. And I want to show you the ground as well. I mean, how cool are those little, I don't know what they are, but I think they are awesome. But what do you think? Um, leave me a comment in the box below. Uh, leave me a like as well, if you don't mind. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And thank you so much for being here with me. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.